welcome back to the Cape Stance vlog and today we're going to be welcoming back the E56 onto the channel I'm going to explain why it went missing or went quiet for a while and uh, that's because I had too much confidence in the car and I gave the car, we, we took the car to the hills in Mitchell's Plane for a spin event and uh, I handed it over to Saeed who's a professional spinner and um, I'll show you guys now what happened I 
like to find the first experience to see what the car is capable of. But I feel like the engine is ahead of the day now. But we'll see what the mechanic sees. So, if you have any ideas of what you think has happened to the car, comment down below. Take an easy cruise home, make it home. Be sick. So as you guys can see, the car was destroyed on its first spin event and um, I was completely devastated and I had to find a new engine because it was like actually properly destroyed. The mechanic suspects happened is we revved it too high and also the guys only tell me, told me afterwards that when you're spinning the car, these old cars don't have like a hard limiter, it's apparently it's a soft limiter. So, we, I didn't have the odd limiter, they ripped the car too high, as you could see in the video. And um, we think we got a valve bounce and we broke the valve. And then we saw it when the mechanic opened the engine, two valves were broken off, the heads were broken off in the chamber. And I still drove the car on, drove the car home and I drove it to the mechanic. And the mechanic, as he pulled into the workshop, the car seized up and that was the end of the old motor so luckily it was an aluminium block it wasn't like the block i was actually after which i unfortunately only found out afterwards and the motor i wanted is the cast iron block which is what i what i found now and i'll show you guys some footage of us testing the motor hi guys welcome back to the cape stance vlog and today we're doing a, a hunt for the E36 new engine because yeah, yeah it's been standing neglected and uh, I'll show you what it looks like so when it was destroyed stripped off the paint and now we're getting some rust spider webs what do you think? what do you think? <laughs> yeah, so we just did a search and uh, it's a 5 to 3. Right there. Huh? Just black smoke. It drives. <laughs> uh, two manpower because we thought it was just going to be uh, buy the motor plug it in and you know off we go no the mechanic thought let's just check it out for a bit see the insides and uh, we found that the sleeves were a problem I mean the rings were a problem and we had to do the rings and then we were there I did the big end bearing, so I basically did the second motor over again completely like I did the first motor. And the last motor only had like 3000 k's on it. So yeah, we're here now again. I'm on 1200 km, well 1300 kilometers in. Motor's going quite well. We just have one, like a little miss on two of the coil packs. And oh, back to it. There was actually one of the Conrads on the piston was actually either one or two were bent and uh, we would have had another situation if had we not opened the engine up and uh, so we, we've done everything over I even had to buy a new clutch I bought a new flywheel because the mechanic didn't have faith in the old one and um, yeah that's why I didn't vlog any of this it was like basically the whole same procedure over again and besides the same procedure over again it was devastating for me and 
I just I didn't know if I was gonna carry on with the build, whether I was gonna put the car back on the road or just sell it. I was in a dark place. Found another motor. Told myself, now let's just go ahead, get it back on the road again, and then uh, when it was back on the road and driving, the car was pulling like crazy to the left. So I was I don't know what the hell was happening. Eventually, it turns out we tore the right rear shock tower. I'll show you guys some of that footage. The tower was completely torn, so it's a common problem on E36s. And I had it welded up. And while I was getting ready for that, I had a rear strut brace made for the car to reinforce the rear towers as well as stiffen the rear. And then while they were there, they also picked up that the rear trailing arm bush was also completely torn and destroyed. So, um, after I did that, I, while they were there, they were also like, you know how it goes, you there, you might as well do it. Took the welded diff out, we put in a limited slip diff, so the rear bushes are done, we've got uh, LSD diff in the rear, and uh, the rear towers has got a reinforcement, and the strut base done, so the car is driving quite nice. See, I don't even need to hold my steering wheel anymore and we can go through the gears quite nice so safe to say I am in love with the car again it's driving beautifully just gonna do another thousand or so kilometers get the car dyno tuned set the hard limiter and get back to donuts and learning how to drift so until then we're gonna be doing POV and drive-bys of, you know, doing the mileage. And also, I think I'm going to put the camera over here. It's easier to talk over there than have to look back. And what do you guys think of the sound? So, currently we're riding on a straight pipe. I'm going to do a video after this where it's just pure M52 B28 straight pipe sounds, ASMR vibes. And, uh... No talking, just pure sound. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Let's we'll just get to, to get the car back onto the channel again. Give you guys an update of where we're at. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Every little bit of liking and commenting helps gets the, the video some traction and get this uh, channel going and buzzing and I'll see you guys on the next vlog mm -hmm.